Well, bookstores throughout Vermont are banding together in an effort to support their own. They're hosting a fundraiser to help shops that have suffered heavy losses from the flooding. ABC 22's Ailey Howe joins us live in the newsroom with more about that. Ailey? Thanks, Mike. An owner I spoke with told me that when flood water swept into her bookstore, she came in the next day to find her inventory floating in puddles on the floor. Now, Vermont booksellers are taking action to help their peers recover. It was a disaster. Bear Pond Books has been in downtown Montpelier since the 1970s, but since the flood, it has been forced to close because of heavy damage. Well, the water came up about three and a half feet in the store, so all the books that were on the lower shelves were uh, flooded. Now, with the floors and walls ripped out, its owners say that the path to reopening will be tough. Similar losses occurred for Next Chapter Bookstore in Barrie. Its owners had just moved to their new location on April 1st before water flooded their store. There were propane tanks floating in our back parking lot. So we had to go home and we honestly did not know what we were going to come back to the next day. To support both businesses, the New England Independent Bookstore Association is organizing Bookstores Helping Bookstores, a fundraising event. On July 29th, 17 bookstores across Vermont will donate proceeds of their sales to Bear Pond and Next Chapter. It's an effort that both store owners say will be a big help. We had to be closed for two weeks and that, that took a huge hit. So it, we're just beyond grateful that they're helping us out this way. The whole thing has been extraordinarily overwhelming, but knowing that we have people like that who have our backs and who are thinking about us um, has really made it a lot easier. Now these Vermont booksellers say that their community is tight-knit, which is why they're always willing to lend each other a hand. You can visit an independent bookstore on July 29th to contribute. Live in the newsroom, Ailey Howe, ABC 22 News.